Hi everyone! I'm going to show you how to change the properties of a wall. So I currently have an existing wall right here. So you want to click on the wall and you want to go up to your options right up top. You just click on your options. It's going to drop kind of a menu and in your options button is where you can change your layers, you can change your lines, your fills, your building material, your com composite composites, um, your pen and coloring, your surface, which is kind of like just the surface material, um, your sewn categories, and uh, many other things. But in order to change the structure of a wall, you want to work with your composites. And so once this opens up, this menu just shows you all the layers that this wall has. So the exterior wall is marked as an um, EFIS material. And then under that, it has waterproofing. And then it has its masonry, um, metal framing, and then in the inside, um, it has its gypsum board, and so that's the whole structure of this wall. We can make a new one, or we can make a duplicate. Um, so if we want to, let's say, let's just change this one. Let's change, instead of having the exterior be 2 inches, let's change it to 3 change it to three inches and then once we press OK we can see that it has increased so it's instead of two inches it's now three inches if we go back to our options um, we can change that to uh, five or anything we want depending on the material and this is mostly like if you have a certain material that you know the thickness of it and you want to make an accurate um, wall and um, kind of a cut through it, this kind of helps you make sure that you have um, the width of that wall correctly. So again, you see how that changes. We can change it back to its original, which is 2, and we can add layers as well. So right here it says insert skin. You can insert a skin so it just duplicates it but you can change that. You can change the material to anything you would like and you can change the sizing. And then if you want to remove it you can just remove the skin um, and then press OK and it and it just, this is, it goes back to the original that I had. So, I hope that works for you. Um, and again, play around with it so you can get comfortable with it. But it definitely is a very helpful tool. Good luck.